Moving along to our daily face-off inbox question, hashtag AskDFO. And Mike, you know we are firmly in hockey season when there is a controversial goaltender interference call to discuss. And I love throwing these your way with your unique perspective. So this call, Evander Kane, it's called the goal initially. The refs kind of huddle up, decide, no, it's no goal. Then it's reviewed and confirmed to be no goal. Do you agree with the call? Should this have been no goal? I don't agree with the call. You know, just when I think I've got a good grasp on what's taking place for goalie interference in the NHL, I lose it again. I don't like this because I think Stalock had enough time to recover from Kane falling on top of him to be able to make that next save. And, and you'll see when the puck goes to the point, Stalock really is, he's up and ready for this shot. He may not have a stick, but he's recovered to his edges and he's got a chance to make that save on Kane. So I'm very surprised that this ended up being called a goal because typically the interference is going to happen on an initial shot. And then if the goalie can't recover in time, that's when you may be able to go back and take one away. I thought Stalock didn't have a lot of urgency to get up here either. I still think he should win the Masterton, but I think he needed to get up here in a hurry to be ready for that next shot. So I was very surprised by it, Tyler. Yeah, I kind of was too. Just again, they, there's an overhead view of it too, which we which we don't have. But Kane was outside of the blue paint, was pushed into mm -hmm. the blue paint. And I do think there was a bit of a sell job from Kane to fall a little harder into the goalie. But then, like you said, it seems like there was almost a bit of a sell job from Stalock to go, ah, I'm going to yeah, take Yeah, I think it went both time. ways. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's why, again, after the ref initially pointed it in, I kind of thought, oh, that's a tough one to overturn. But then they changed their mind, the call on the ice then became no goal. It was very confusing. And Evander Kane eventually gave the refs an earful and got a two-minute penalty for it as well. It was a wild night last night in Edmonton.